This video is about Shield Generator, an application which is useful when it comes to generation of ESD rings as well as shield boxes in a PCB. So we launch the application, route, Shield Generator. So there are several modes of operation. So we start with the select boundary mode, which is useful when it comes to uh, ESD ring generation. In this mode, we can select, for example, the board outline, and then based on the default parameters which are populated into the form, a preview will be generated. Uh, we can now change some parameter until we commit uh, this structure. Say, for example, we change the offset from 2.54 millimeter to 5 millimeters. And uh, so as you can see here, the preview will be updated immediately. So we are fine with 2 millimeters. So this is um, the, the offset of the shield with respect to the board outline. Next step is about how the shape shall look like. What about the width of the shape to be used? For example, two millimeter wide. Uh, you can specify whether the shape should be dynamic or static. And also on which layers uh, the shield pattern should be generated. So we select the outer layers, top and bottom. Next section refers to VS pattern generation. So we might change, for example, the via via gap. As you can see here, again, the default locations are calculated. We are fine with three millimeters, for example. We may specify a pad stack to be used. We filter for a certain via pad stack right now. And then if we say, yeah, that's it, we simply hit the button and say apply, and the structure is being generated. Of course, it can be also deleted as an, as an entity. Simply select from the mode Delete Shield, click on the shield, and everything is gone. So uh, for certain sensitive RF applications, sometimes RF shield boxes are required. For this purpose, you have the option, for example, to, to say, let's play the rectangular uh, shield box. So let's give it a default width of 30 millimeters with 30 millimeters height place it somewhere here. And again, these are the default parameters. You can change them, 35, 45, height. We can also change the direction, which specifies the orientation of the shield. If we say centric, it follows exactly the, the path of the rectangle we have placed. Again, we can specify the line width to be used, 2.54 millimeters, for example. Specify some vias. As before, say apply, and we then simply hit the button. Alternatively, it's also possible to draw a rectangle. So in order to align the locations for the shield stiffness, uh, it might be useful to act on a grid, 2.54 millimeters, as well as a via via, gate of, via, via gap of 2.54 millimeters. And now we can simply drag a rectangle and create such a structure. Another useful feature is the option to act on, to derive a structure from a drawing option. So sometimes the RF shield boxes are a little bit more complicated, so they are subdivided into certain sections. So, and then it might be easier or to start with a construction line on any construction layer first and say, okay, this is my template and the shield box or the shield structure should be created or should follow this path. So, and we use a following mode for this. We go to derive from line. Now we pick the, the lines by subsequent picks. And we say, and if we have selected all items, we simply hit, use the RMB menu, complete. And then based on the parameters, again, via locations are calculated. We might change to 5.08 or again back to 2.54 millimeter, which is a common, a common value. Then we hit again, apply, and the structure is generated. Now we have a real shield box here.